Hey guys, it's Millie, welcome back to my channel. So this week's video, I'm gonna be filming a what I eat in a day. I've been requested this a lot on Instagram, I'll add my Instagram here. So yeah, I thought it'd be fun to record a kind of relatable, realistic day in the life, what I eat every day to kind of maintain my weight. I have already had porridge this morning and I didn't really want to record then because I was kind of looking very homeless vibes. I have porridge with berries and jam and also a coffee. But I'm about to make some bagel with eggs so I will show you how I do that and how I get around the kitchen because obviously at the moment I'm still on one leg. So basically I use my crutches as like a stand for my leg so that I can rest it rather than using my body to like hold it up. So for lunch I am currently making avocado and egg on bagels which I feel like is kind of healthy. Whenever I watch videos of like how to become a Victoria's Secret model and stuff like that, not that I want to become a Victoria's Secret model, but I just, I really like watching videos of people eating food because I don't know why, I find it really interesting, probably because I'm obsessed with food. But basically, yeah, so I'm making avocado and egg and I'm also making it for my girlfriend, Kate, who you guys will probably know. And if you don't know her, then I will link our couple's YouTube channel down below. But that's where we like to vlog any of our travels or just kind of relationship content um, I put on that channel. But yeah, I'm making her lunch because I, so I do content creation like full time. Um, thanks to you guys for following my journey on TikTok and Instagram and I love it. It literally, through what has been maybe, which what could have been the most lonely time in my life, I have basically created my own little family. <laughs> so yeah, it's been, it's been really nice to kind of share my story with everyone and have always have someone to talk to when I'm going through like a horrible time but anyway so oh my god guys I don't think I can use this avocado is that okay to use no that looks dirty I'm not gonna use that <coughs> it actually smells really bad I'm also gonna add a bit of lemon right I'm not really getting to the point at all with this video so basically my girlfriend does TikTok and she does Instagram as well but she also has a full-time job working in an office in sales so she is pretty much at her desk all day she's working from home today and she lives around the corner so i've decided to make a lunch for both of us it's so mad that we met through tiktok um i'll link the video down below about like go it goes into full detail about how we met but we met through tiktok and we literally did five minutes like from each other it's mad how how we hadn't seen each other before i'm also going to add a little bit of salt just a small bit to the avocado. She has been really helpful in terms of like helping me to cook meals and things like that as well as my family but I really miss being independent. I was so independent before. I don't know for my mental health being able to do things myself does it makes me feel so much better. So as I'm editing this video I realise I go on and on about like how proud I am of myself for making avocado and eggs on toast which is literally the most basic task ever but the point that I'm actually trying to say is that even the smallest things like being able to shower on my own, cook my own food, go up and down the stairs, like being able to celebrate those little achievements along the way of a big recovery like this I think is so important and always pushing yourself to be as independent as you can is the point I'm trying to make out. I'm not trying to make out that cooking avocado and eggs is difficult. I'll let you get back to the video now. There are still things I can't do like carrying things up and down the stairs um, and that's when I do rely on like my girlfriend and my family to do those things for me but other than that I just try and be as independent as possible and that that is probably one of my number one tips for staying positive. I think if you give in to your disability or your medical condition or whatever you're going through whether that's your mental health or whether that's your physical health. I think if you give in and just give up, I, for me, that just ends up in a spiral where I just end up feeling worse and worse and just believing that I can't do it. So throughout this whole injury, I've just tried to push myself out of my comfort zone and just do as much as I can for myself. As I'm editing, I just also want to make a point that it is okay if you have days where you can't do those things. So if you have a disability, a medical condition, a mental health condition, and you have some days where you physically 
or mentally can't do something, that doesn't mean that you failed. I'm just saying for, for me, if I can push myself through those days where I'm in pain, where I'm feeling really down, and I can make myself do things independently, it makes me feel so much better. But I also have to recognise, and I think it's important to recognise that there are some things that you can't do and that's okay, and it's not being lazy, it's just you aren't able to do those things, whether that's at the moment or whether that's forever. But I think it's important to have those self-care days where you, you don't do, you don't push yourself, you know, you have rest days. Right, let's get back to the video. Should we have a look at what this avocado is looking like? So this is the avocado. And then I'm just doing some poached eggs and bagels. So I will be back to show you the finished result. So here is the finished lunch for me and my girlfriend. She is boring, so she doesn't have any spices, but I have a little bit of chili because I'm a spicy legend. Okay, so Kate is ruining it by having ketchup. <laughs> you had ketchup too. No, I didn't. I would never do that. <laughs> the ketchup out. <laughs> what do you think out of 10? Mm. This really difficult meal that I've created. Minus three. Minus, that's so bitchy. Most of it, no. <laughs> uh, no, this is like my favourite meal, so 10 out of 10. It's quite a difficult meal to do, so. Well, I'd have had it with bagels before you and it changed my life. Oh my god, game changer. Mm. They're both charged up after a few eggs. Who's gonna win this match? Hmm. Probably Lynn. Whoa, that was actually rapid. So Kay has left me and gone back to work, well, working from home at her house. So I'm now gonna have a cheeky bit of cheesecake since she's gone. She's being a health queen and not having any, but that was the door. She's being a health queen and not having any, but I'm gonna have some. Okay, so this is the cheesecake of choice which is like the goo um, salted caramel, which are so pain. They're so calorific though. Um, right, so in one of these, there's actually 340 calories, that is quite a lot. But basically my sister had half of one last night, so I think I'm just gonna finish what she had, so just have like half a pot of it, so then it's fine, it's just whatever half of that is. Yeah, so I'm gonna eat that, catch up on some Love Island, Comment below who's your favourite on Love Island at the moment. I haven't really got into it. I like the I like Gemma because she's a dressage rider and I like horses, but she does sound like she's like a different league of money in terms of she has twelve international dressage horses, travels internationally to compete them. That must be a mad amount of money. Like I ride horses myself, well I did before my accident, but I don't think like dressage horses are so expensive. I think her I think she's literally Michael Owen's daughter, so Figures that they've got a lot of money. Right, now for the important part, the taste test. I have had these before, but I had them absolutely ages ago when I was at uni, because I literally used to be addicted to them. Oh, it's so pain. It literally tastes like pure sugar. Obsessed, that is so nice. I would definitely recommend these. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Banyan. This is my current state pretty much every day. Whilst I'm recovering, like, I do some work in the morning, like I'll do some TikToks, film some brand content, and then have lunch, chill down here with my leg broken, and now we're gonna watch some Love Island. For some reason, I then went into a food coma because I forgot to vlog the in-between bit, but basically, Kate finished work for the day and then we drove to see my friend Shannon and we had a barbecue which was really cute so I'll add in the food that we had at the barbecue. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> the moment I just fell in love with a cat. <laughs> this is so much food. <laughs> okay guys, so me and my girlfriend and my best friend Shannon had the pegasus barbecue ever. I didn't really vlog it because we were just enjoying the vibes. It's really sunny in the UK at the moment, so we were just having a cheeky little drink, a few G and Ts. I think I think I probably had two G and Ts and a glass of prosecco and loads of food. Kate is vegetarian, so she was having like those veggie Richmond sausages, um, and I was having I had chicken and a burger and then some salads and stuff. And it was pain. It was so yummy. It's a bit later now, but. I was actually still hungry, so I decided to have a few squares of chocolate because I thought that's normal, that's a normal amount of chocolate. Um, and then this happened. 
I literally finished the entire bar. That's like a proper chunk of dairy milk there. I don't even know how many. This, what I eat in a day, has literally become a food challenge. <laughs> like, usually I would have a couple of squares of chocolate, but I think I'm pre-period, so I'm craving chocolate more. So I just decided to, to eat the entire bar. It's so bad. Um, okay, so there's six. In one portion, there's 147 calories. That's not too bad. That's only for six squares. Oh my god. Okay, anyways, that was really yummy. And we watched some more Love Island because I'm addicted. We're staying at um, my friend Shannon's house sitting, so we're staying at her house with her. It's quite cute because Kate got to feed some of the horses. Like, I'll add in some clips. Oh, this is really cute. Just more scared than any friends, can No, do it here. That was really cute. You should let her bite a little bit though, because a big carrot is a lot. <laughs> Kate isn't very horsey, but I am, so it's really cute watching her actually learn to like them. She's absolutely terrified of them. So yeah, that was sweet. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment below if this was a normal day of eating or not. I actually don't know. I think the big thing is not to compare yourself to what I eat, because I think that you know, if everybody ate the same amount of food and exercised the same, they wouldn't have the exact same body type. So I wouldn't necessarily say that just because you eat more or less than what I've eaten today, that's wrong. It may just be what's right for your body. I definitely need to consume a little less sugar after watching this back. But it's all about balance. My body wanted chocolate. I'm trying to do like intuitive eating at the moment. So if my body wants it, then I will have it. Because I think that I become more obsessed with food when I don't let myself have something. So if I'm thinking I'm not allowed chocolate, I'm just thinking about chocolate all of the time. So yeah, if I want chocolate, I'll just have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I will be back next week with another video. Bye! <laughs>